Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Pokeballer Luke, and today we have a brand new type of video. Well, I wouldn't call it brand new, it is another top 10, but I'm kind of taking it to a live action scene, you know? Today I'm going to be bringing you guys my top 10 favorite Pokemon cards that I own. In this top 10, we're going to go over my 10 favorite Pokemon cards that I've pulled. A lot of them you can find the pools on this channel, so check out the TCG playlist back on the channel. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, again, these are all my cards, and of course, this is my opinion. Uh, but yeah, let's jump straight into it. Okay, guys, we are here at the studio, and we're just going to jump right into this top 10. Now, I just want to say one last thing before we get to number 10, and that is the fact that I don't play the TCG game. This isn't based off of how good the card is in-game. This is all based off of appearance and just how much I like how these cards look. A lot of them are shiny. A lot of them are EXs. I, I basically have the mentality of, like, a six-year-old. But yeah, we're going to pick the ones that are shiny and super cool, so let's go. At the number 10 spot, we actually have a three-way tie between Professor Birch's Observations, we also have Energy Retrieval, and we have Winona. These cards are all three really cool, and I like them a lot, and I decided to group them together in one part since they're all three trainers. Of course, two of them are Full Arts, which looks really cool, and I think this is a secret rare. I could be wrong. D don't, don't quote me. Just tell me in the comments if it is or not, please. But yeah, that's really cool, these cards. I don't really know what any of them do, but hey, maybe they're good, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess that's really all I have to say about them, but let's go right on to number nine. At the number nine spot, we have something that I pulled in my first booster box, and that's gonna be this Primal Shiny Ground on EX, and it is shiny, of course, too. I like how this card looks. I love full art cards. You guys will come to see that a lot of the cards on this list are full arts. So I think this one is really cool. Of course, it evolves from regular ground on, and it just looks really cool. It looks really menacing. I love how the leg comes out uh, underneath the ability or underneath the primal reversion rule. So that's pretty cool. Of course, the Japanese letters, as always, look awesome as well. One critique I have why this wasn't placed any higher is just the fact that the colors kind of contradict or something. I don't know how to explain it really, but just the yellow and black on the blue and red doesn't look the greatest in the world. But needless to say, this card is really cool and I enjoy it a lot and I hope you guys like it as well. Coming in at the number 8 spot, we have something that I pulled quite recently, and that's going to be this Gardevoir EX. This is a full art, I think. I, I still don't know. These cards from the from po cards from Pokemon Generations really confuse me, but it looks like a full art to me. Either way, the picture goes throughout the entire card, so I guess that's all I can say about it. And it's a fairy type, and it looks really cool, and it's all pink and green, which is a really cool combination of colors, of course. And what really makes this card is the fact that Ralts and Curlia are on it as well. Uh, it's like the entire Gardevoir line, which is just really cool. Unfortunately, Gallade isn't there, but I didn't really expect it to be. But yeah, it's really cool. It has two really cool attacks called Life Leap and Shining Wind, which are just awesome. Uh, of course, it's an EX, and it has the ribbons on the side. So yeah, I really like this card a lot. And, uh, yeah, let's move on. Coming in at the number 7 spot, we have a really menacing card, which would be Mega Tyranitar EX. This is the first of many Mega cards on this list, and I like this one a lot because, well, it looks really cool. As you can see, we have a gigantic Mega Tyranitar just kind of like towering and destroy. I don't know, it looks like it's destroying everyone, and its move is literally called Destroyer King because, well... Tyranitar is the king of destroying things and it has the Japanese letters coming out from the middle to the right side Which looks really cool. Uh, I like the colors of Tyranitar purple and green That's just a really cool and awesome combination to me So yeah, this card is really cool and it has a ton of HP 240 back when I used to collect Pokemon cards as a young kid like Wailord with 200 HP was like the greatest card ever So yeah, that's all I have to say about this At the number 6 spot, we have the only promo card that's going to be on this list, and that's going to be this Charizard EX card that we got from our Charizard Generations box not too long ago. Now, this card in itself looks really cool. It's really shiny and gleamy, as you guys can see the reflection right there. Uh, it also has really cool colors being orange and red, which who doesn't love orange and red? I know I do. Um, it has two really cool attacks, Wing Attack and Combustion Blast, but what really makes this card is the people who are featured on which would be Magmar and Flareon. Actually, at first, I didn't even know Flareon was in this card I thought it was just Magmar because Flareon's near the tail and I just guess I didn't notice it but yeah I think it's really cool that they included other Pokemon on this card and I think it just looks really awesome 
halfway through the list and we have another double feature and that's going to be Flareon EX and Flareon EX Full Art. These cards are both really cool and I pulled them in the same from the same generations box so that's a plus right there. Uh, they're the exact same cards just with different designs as you can see they both have the same abilities and attack but what makes me like this one a little bit more is the fact that Jolteon and Vaporeon are in it as well. I really like Vaporeon um, but it's really cool to see Flareon have its own really cool card like this. You know Flareon doesn't get as much love as Jolteon or Vaporeon does so it's cool to have a really cool card like this and I like it a lot you know the ribbons on it on the side are really cool of course and yeah I'm glad that I pulled this at the number four spot we have the only break card on this list what not an EX yep here we go it is my Greninja break that I pulled not too long ago I like it a lot not gonna lie if you guys don't know Greninja is one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon and uh, you know just for future reference uh, top 10 favorite Pokemon will come out when I hit 10,000 subs. <laughs> but yeah, we have this really awesome Greninja break. I love the gold. The gold breaks are really cool. I only have two break cards, this and Eradicate break. And uh, unfortunately, the Eradicate didn't fall into my top 10 favorites, though it is still a really cool card. But yeah, this Greninja break in general is just really cool. It has giant water shuriken, which is just flat out amazing. I don't know what it really does, but it's cool. And uh, yeah, I really like this Pokemon and I really like this card. So we're now in the final three, and you guys will start to see kind of a trend in the colors of the last three. But at the number three spot, we have your boy Kyurem in a full art version. It looks just really cool. I love blue cards, you know. Um, and the fact that Kyurem is blue and it has blue in the background, and it's like it's like an icicle abyss. I don't even know what to call it, but it looks really cool with the Kyurem stepping up front. And it's just really shiny and it's really nice. Blue is my favorite color, if you guys don't know, blue and orange, but not combined. That looks awful. But yeah, it looks really awesome. It has Glaciate and Ice... Ice, ice caliber but yeah it's really cool i like it as 180 hp i have no idea if it's a good card or not but hey it's uh it's gotta be it's gotta be up on one of my all-time favorites the runner-up is another recent pool that we got and it is actually another shiny card and another mega card and it is Shiny Mega Gyarados EX. This card is pretty recent to the collection, and I do like it a lot. The red with blue and yellow just looks awesome with the whole contrast that it has. Um, of course, it's like popping out at you with the Japanese letters since it's a Mega card, which is a huge added plus, and it just looks really cool, and I like it a lot. You know, I'm glad that they included the Shiny Mega Gyarados versus just regular Mega Gyarados. Um, even though Shiny Gyarados is kind of overdone nowadays, I still think it looks really cool, and it's one of my all-time favorite Shinies. And it also has a ton of HP, being 240. That is wicked. But yeah, this card's really cool, and I think a lot of people like it too. And lastly on the list, if you guys know I have this card, you know it was number one. I show it off a lot on Twitch, especially when I run face cam, and that's going to be... Blastoise EX Full Art. Of course, you guys know that Squirtle is my favorite Pokemon, which means I gotta love Blastoise a lot, too. And this Blastoise Full Art does a great job at portraying Blastoise in a Full Art. It has a lot of, like, really cool blue stuff in the background. I don't even know how to explain it, but it looks awesome, and the Blastoise is popping at you really fierce. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about it other than the fact that it looks cool, and it's really biased because Blastoise is, like, my favorite Pokemon, but, hey, it's really cool. It has the move Rapid Spin, which, you know, we all love to use in competitive battling, right? And Splash Bomb, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, check out my reaction of when I pulled this card. Yes, all right, that's cool, whatever. And our rare is... Oh! Full Art Blastoise EX! Oh, my gosh! What? We already got two EXs! Oh, my gosh, Full Art Blastoise. Oh my gosh, screw the Yveltal, this thing's going in front of it. Oh my gosh, look at that, actually. It's got Rapid Spin and a uh, Splash Bomb. And that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed my 10 favorite Pokemon cards that I own. And yeah, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this and want to see more top 10s kind of like this, more interactive, I guess. I don't really know. But yeah, have a great day as always, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.